Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be going over my upcoming tool data discovery and uh, all the ways it can help you. In this specific video, we'll be going over how data discovery gives you uh, various kinds of error metrics that can be relevant to your machine learning training, which will help you decide um, overall which your best model is and how you could be taking your predictive tasks further. And even, and even to the extent of whether machine learning might at all be relevant to your project. So these will be, for this I'll actually be using my upcoming, I'll, I'll be using my training data and testing data from an upcoming paper that I'm writing with uh, a pro couple of professors uh, scattered across in Canada and in Johns Hopkins University about public health system analysis and how that can, health system analysis and how that can affect public health metrics such as uh, diarrhea treatments, um, contraceptive reception, etc, etc. So to go over, uh, first off, uh, we'll go, uh, we'll open up the report's old folder and if you're familiar with data discovery, you'll know that there are four directories. So we can go to either learning curves or accuracies first, those are the relevant ones. So if we go to accuracies, here we can see that the elastic, ACC elastic neck train is the, all the information that we can we generate by training our data with an elastic net model. So here we can see that when we have a test size of just 425 and a training size of 3285, you know, because we split our, te our test and training data into various batches to see if more training data is helpful, how helpful it is, etc. And then we just go over a whole bunch of different um, met error metrics that are relevant to regression. So here we have like explained variance, we have the max error, we have the um, absolute error, we have the mean squared error, we have the root mean squared error, etc. And you can see, and you can see this both for the training and testing data. And you can actually see these sp uh, spread across different data sample sizes. So here we can see that our, um, with the tra trained metric, like when we train with uh, eight, uh, uh, training size of 850 and a testing size of 3400 uh, as compared to training with the size of 1275. Our uh, mean square, mean absolute error drops a little bit. Our mean squared error drops a little bit. You know, all of our errors seem to be going down, which is generally a good sign for our data set. And similarly, we actually see pretty decent convergence between test and training metrics in both these models, letting us uh, roughly guess that, oh, maybe um, Elastic Net is a good model to train with. And similarly, we can go over this with KNR, which is k neighbors regression. Or, and, you know, here we see the convergence isn't that high. If you remember, you know, if we pull this up, if we pull up elastic net and KNR side by side, and just focus on the mean in absolute error, this is point 0.1, negative 0.186, negative 0.184, but KNR is quite a bit different, 0.18 and 0.153. So here we can see uh, huge differences and um, my tool data discovery by automating all these processes helps you with this. Now, if you want to see data discovery in action, I would suggest checking out other videos in this playlist. I do have videos where I uh, run the whole model from start to scratch. This was just to give, show you how you can understand, uh, you know, the, uh, this is more to give you an in-depth um, discovery into different like, aspects of my tool. And, uh, this is definitely one of the most salient features because by comparing across multiple error metrics, we can have a more clear picture of what is going on and which models might be preferred over on others. That's about it. If you do like, uh, if you like this video, please do hit like and uh, like. It uh, helps promote my content to other people who might be interested. Uh, if you're more interested in data discovery or machine learning or and data analytics or software engineering, be sure to subscribe. More my videos, I always upload videos covering these topics in great detail. Um, also subscribe to pay attention to data discovery. If you're interested in being a beta tester or getting involved in an early demo of my data, uh, upcoming data analysis tool, which has gotten great reviews by, you know, uh, various respected data scientists and research uh, researchers, etc. Be sure to let me know either in the comments or be sure to reach out to me through one of my social medias that um, and we can set up some kind of a partnership. That's about it. Thank you. Have a good day.